it. It's worn to you that you can get it on your clothes and it can stain it. So let me see how to get this up. How do you let this up? Oh god. There we go. Oh, yeah, you have to lift the whole thing off. This machine's very flimsy compared to my other one. I'm not used to this at all. So I'm going to make sure I've got black plastic sack on my bag. I've got a lovely um, Disneyland Paris over. And I do not want ink going on it, you know. Or on my clothes right now. It says you've got to leave these vacuum packed until you're ready to unpack them as well. And you've only got it, if, you, if you've got a warranty, you have to use Epsom's own brand. Or like it invalidates a warranty. Oh, I've just done done the packaging. Now I've got to take this beauty out. Okay, remove the cap while keeping the bottle upright. Right, look at this. Position the top of the ink bottle along the slot in front of the filling port and then stand the bottle slowly to insert it into the filling port. So this is a C. Oh, I see it goes exactly on there. Like that. Oh, so it does work. And you can hear it. And apparently it stops when it goes to a certain level automatically. And they're easily labelled. I do like that. They're easily labelled C and they're C on the bottle. Fill to the upper line. Ink is injected even if the ink bottle is not being squeezed. Cover the cap and store the ink bottle upright for later use. Oh, it does say here, repeat steps four to nine to each bottle. I didn't read that, so yeah. It does say I have to do all the steps again for each bottle. Repeat steps four to nine for each ink bottle. Store the ink bottle upright for late use. So this is really good. And you can see it's got a little bit of mess there. Just make sure when you're doing it, you do it back tight again really important i'm even going to put it back in the packaging you've got to put this down push it in so it clicks i think oh there you see it's got a little nick in the packaging so you should be able to easily rip it open <laughs> theoretically this one's a bit tough there we go this is what's so good about this eco tank is you use ink bottles instead of cartridges which is why you can get loads more pages out of it you can get up to fourteen thousand black pages out of it and up to eleven thousand two hundred just for the colors in the box they're all labeled so this one is the yo2 that's the model of the ink and Y. it's incredible you get two sets of these as well that'll last a long time so yeah see you've got to do that and then you've got to line it up so you see them, you, it, when you go inside and look at it, you have to line them up. So this is for the yellow, which is the furthest one away from me. So you just lift that up. And if you look at it, it's got the same, same setup as that. So you literally really quickly tip it up like that and push it in. You have to do it really quickly. It's always a mess in my opinion. And you can tell it's actually finished because it just stops. You see it's up to the line as well. You just whip it off quickly like that. Again, it's look, not much mess at all in that one. Look at that. Put this down. Just push it in and make sure it's nicely down. Screw this back on. Really, really, really tight. So it's not gonna you know, dry up or anything. You don't have to put it back in the bag, actually. If you put it back in the bag, it might not sit straight wherever you need to put it, so it might be better to keep it out of the bag. I'll just put that in there for now, though. So we're going to put the, the M in there, the pinky one. So this is really good because it's all labelled here at the top. Um, I'll actually show you the top in a minute when I do the black one. Don't forget to undo that. And then, ready, that's that again. 
super quickly lift up, push down, completely whip that off. See, make sure it's all up to the line. It's automatically supposed to stop at that line anyway. Right, final one. This is a big boy. Big boy. Oh, pop that one down. So I'm just going to show you from above what it's looking like so you can get an idea. So I've just filled the black one up now and I just want to take it off to show you how it fits on. This is the bird's eye view of it. See? And that's what it looks like. See? It just fits in there like that. That's what it looks like. And I need to push that down. See? Just remember to shut the lid afterwards. So you lift that up like that. That down like that. Lower that gently. There you go. They're all full up.